My trip in Malaysia continued from Kuala Lumpur to Georgetown on Penang Island. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, good morning specifically from Georgetown. I left this morning in Kuala Lumpur and embarked for my next stop which is Georgetown. In, uh, so I want to show you the room first because it's very very beautiful. I mean I really really liked it even though for a moment I thought I was getting scammed because I couldn't find the address even though I do extensive research before booking anything. I'm very like I'm very careful on that side but anyway I couldn't find the address on the Grab app. My driver didn't know where to go we asked around and they said that there was no hotel nearby and even my driver was was like you know what just call them ask around because this seems a bit sketchy but it wasn't at all there because of the, the position itself it's like in a parking lot but fear not because this is what this is a new hotel and it's very very nice i do love my room and actually the thing that I love the most is the shower because it has a yakuza inside so let me show you around a little bit so welcome to my trip so this is the bed over here uh, a little stationery where I can do my online work here there is like the wardrobe with uh, with, the, with the iron to iron your clothes which is something that I do need a lot because I tend to bring a lot of shirts with me this is a bit a little small tea area so i'm very eager to try my uh my malaysian tea that i brought here and now uh, let me show you the bathroom so it even has like um what do you call it a technologic mirror like you can click here and voila you can do your makeup here that's very advanced for me in here we have the shower and the jacuzzi so after a, a warm tea i'm really eager to try this shower tonight anyway let's talk a bit how to actually get here because yeah there are many information online but nothing actually prepared or i don't i wouldn't say that they are extremely precise so that's what i'm going to be, i'm going to give you so there are a few ways that you can choose how to get to Georgetown. I personally prefer going to by train because the bus, uh, I mean the traffic in Kuala Lumpur can get pretty crazy. You can get stuck in it and like few hours can become almost an entire day. So that's why I would suggest to, I mean, do your research, but I would suggest to take the train, which is what I did. Now, the train departs from KL Central and you can just book your um, your ticket online I will put the name of the website down in the description box but I will also write an extensive uh, guide uh, guide on Georgetown so you can check that out on my website which I will put the link in the description box as well now once you get to the KL Center you take, uh, uh, you take your train which will bring you to Butterworth so that's going to be your destination from Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur from Kuala Lumpur to Butterworth once you reach Butterworth and uh, which is usually the last stop of the train you just keep walking and you follow the direction for the ferry which is always inside the same building so it's pretty pretty easy when you reach the ferry you just buy a ticket it's like few cents and it will bring you across the sea which is like about probably 10 to 15 minutes no more and once you reach there then you, you just catch your taxi or grab for wherever is your next destination in your town so actually it's extremely affordable it's pretty easy and i would highly recommend it um and another reason for which i will highly recommend the train is because there is a bathroom inside so uh, it's much faster the bus i think it takes uh, almost seven or eight hours while the train only takes three and a half or four hours and you can there is even a cafeteria inside where you can buy something to eat so i did really enjoyed my my ride with them but now i'm very very famished so Probably I'm going to check it out near here and let's see what there is near my stay.
Welcome to Georgetown. Today we are going to explore this city which is uh, World UNESCO heritage and even though it's quite a colonial city because it was built by the English people, if I'm correct, um, it's actually it's also and you can see like the colonial style from the houses here which is very very different from Kuala Lumpur even though that it's actually a very young city due to the fact that especially the historical center of Georgetown it's full of graffiti and murales which uh, make this city very very young and very vibrant as well as very colorful every street here is a canvas and every corner and every alley tell a different story with its um, with its unique graffiti And you actually see from its street how the street art here has a very positive impact on the community because it helps to revive not only the building or that can be decadent in some part in some area but also like it makes a huge impact because of tourism and because young people and people in general come here. <laughs> Not only that, but it also shows how art is so powerful and is able to connect people and community despite cultural differences. My visit to Georgetown continued to the clan judges. They are floating villages that provide a glimpse into the life of Chinese immigrants that settled here over a century ago. They are easily reachable from Old Town. Chi judges is actually the most popular one, but since I would try and go for the off-beaten path in the less touristic way, I decided to visit Tan Jetty. It's lesser known and therefore much quieter. Just remember that these are homes that where real people live, so always show respect and above all else, do not disturb their peace. <laughs> 